Hey, what's up everyone? Today I'm gonna to show you how to create a responsive restaurant website template using ChatGPT. ChatGPT is gonna generate all of the HTML, CSS, and JavaScript code for us. So you can do this without having any experience at all. That said, if you do have experience with HTML and CSS and JavaScript, it will be a little easier to go through and fine tune this. But either way, I'm gonna show you exactly what you need to do to modify this code to suit your needs. So to get started, I am gonna use GPT 3.5 for this just in case anyone here is not a ChatGPT Plus subscriber. Now, obviously with your prompts, you wanna be as specific as possible when you wanna get the results you're looking for. If you're vague with your prompt, ChatGPT is not gonna know what you're talking about and your responses may vary. So the more information you can give, the better. That said, I have a very simple prompt that we're gonna to use to create this and it can create other types of websites as well. It can create portfolios, but the prompt is very straightforward and simple and says exactly what I need in roughly one sentence. Now, I put the word responsive in here, and basically what that means is no matter what the screen size is, the website will change to fit that screen and still look good. All right. Cool. So it's gone ahead and it's generated all the necessary HTML for us, including the relevant bootstrap paths. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna copy this code. I'm gonna open up Visual Studio Code. I've already created a folder for this. I've created a folder for the images, which doesn't have anything in it yet. You can use any editor you want. I'm using Visual Studio Code. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna click this button here and I'm going to call it index.html. And for those of you who don't know, index.html is the default web page that's going to load when somebody types in your domain. So if your domain is www.myrestaurant.com, the website or HTML file that's going to load is index.html by default. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna paste in the code that ChatGPT generated for us, and I'm gonna save it. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna launch it in the browser just to see what it looks like. All right, cool. It's good that this is very basic. We can tweak this and modify it to suit your needs. We have a little menu bar up here at the top right. Um, but obviously this is a problem. As you can see, we've got three food items here and the images are broken. And that makes total sense because we haven't added any images to our project. We do have a basic contact form here. Obviously this information should be changed to reflect, you know, whatever restaurant you're creating this for. But again, this is a template, so this works perfectly fine. To make this look good, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna use Pexels and I'm gonna grab some images that we can use for our food dishes. I'm gonna take these two on the top here. Uh, and Pexels is a free stock photos, stock videos website that you can use to grab any images for your templates. Uh, it's completely free. So I've gone ahead and I've downloaded a few images that we can use for our dishes. So I'm gonna go back over to my code in Visual Studio Code. Uh, and as you can see in my images folder, I now have three images here, dish one, dish two, and dish three. Now again, this is where having a little bit of knowledge of HTML would come in handy. But if not, that's okay. I'm gonna show you exactly what you need to modify. So down here, you can see this is a comment that says menu section. So if you go back over to the web page. This is our menu section here, and you have one, two, three food items. So here, you can see we have food item one, food item two, and food item three, which corresponds to food item one, food item two, and food item three on the page. That said, we have these paths to images here for food one, food two, and food three. So right here where it says path to image, we actually wanna put the path to the image on your website. So if you're using Visual Studio Code, it makes this really easy. So I can actually right click on dish one and you have copy path and copy relative path. So copy path will copy the entire path. So if it's on your C drive and it's in your web page, documents, images folder, it's gonna copy that entire path. But when you're doing website design, it's not entirely necessary to do that. So you would copy the relative path and that is the path relative to index.html in this case. So we're gonna copy the relative path and we're gonna go ahead and we're just going to paste it right here. And as you can see, it copies in images dish1.jpg. So I'm gonna go ahead and click save. Go back to our website and hit refresh. And as you can see, now we've got food item one here. Great. So I'm gonna repeat these same steps for food item two and food item three. Cool. 
Now it's looking a little better. It's starting to look more like an actual website. So to show you what I mean with the responsive design, I'm just going to show you that we'll just drag our window to make it smaller. And as you can see, everything adjusts to the size. And as we get smaller and smaller, the images get smaller, but everything still looks pretty good. Now, this is an example of what it might look like if you were looking at it on a mobile device. As you can see, our menu up top turns into the classic hamburger menu. Uh, the images now are, you know, obviously this is how you would view it on a mobile device. If you were looking at it on your phone, everything still looks good. That is called responsive design and bootstrap allowed us to do that with relative ease. And obviously we use ChatGPT to generate this entire template. So you could now upload this to whichever web hosting provider you choose. My preference lately has been Hostinger. They're super cheap. I'll put a link in the description below. I'm also going to throw this up on my GitHub page. So if you want to just download this template as is and make any modifications, you can do that. Or you can use the same prompts that we used, which I will also put in the description. If you want to see more content like this, or you want me to go more in depth and maybe make longer videos, please leave a comment down below. If you want to see any type of content or you want me to go into detail about some specific ChatGPT stuff, hit me up in the comments below, like this video and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you soon.